Hello, and welcome to My Heart to Yours podcast. My name is Stephanie, and the purpose of this podcast is to bring awareness to heart disease by me sharing my story and my experiences. And so on this episode, I want to talk about abortions. And it's a taboo topic. Most people don't really talk about it, but I know it's been a lot of talk going on with it, the topic in the news and with the law being passed, the law being talked about in Texas. And so um, I'm really, I really don't get into politics, but I thought it would be a good topic to address for all of my heart sisters that um, had to deal with family planning, you know, and conceiving. And so I thought it would be important, but for most of my heart sisters, a lot of them, you know, I'm not gonna say a lot, but it's a it's a big number who, you know, have been told they couldn't conceive or are not able to conceive. And so um for them, you know, this topic, it kind of is for them as well as for all of us. But when we are for us that have heart disease, we have to be like really careful when it comes to con- conceiving and family planning because you want to make sure that you're hard, make sure that you're able to carry out your pregnancy to full term, but not just any, not just a person with heart disease. There, you know, if you're a regular healthy person, you still need to have a checkup before you plan on getting pregnant, pregnant to make sure that you're able and that all of your feminine parts work properly, you know, so. It applies to everybody, but specifically this topic, I'm talking about all my heart sisters, and I think it's important that we're able to make these decisions when it comes to that, and for me, I'm just going to ex- briefly explain explain my story um, when I became pregnant in my relationship, and That was at a time when my heart was, it was not at the capacity that it needed to be. And so I really didn't need to be getting pregnant. And so um, I was so nervous about it. And I had an appointment with my, my specialist and they were going to run tests to see if I was going to be able to carry the baby full term. And so I went there and they did the test and the doctor was like, well, your heart should be good. You should be able to carry it out, you know, but it's up to you. And so, you know, he was like, I'm going to leave and I'm going to let you make that decision, you know, you and your, you know, partner. And so I was like, that was so hard because even though the doctor said, you know, you can, you're going to be able to carry it out full term. For me, you know, just thinking about what if he said, no, you're not going to be able to carry this child. And he told me, what if he told me you're going to have to end this pregnancy? I can imagine how that felt, but thank God I was able to carry it full term, even though it was high risk and I had to come and go to the doctor like every month, every two weeks, but I still, I made it through. Hallelujah. But yeah, so I can just imagine. And I even had, even though the doctor told me that I will be able to, you know, carry the baby full term. I had people close to me that were like, it's not a good idea. I don't think it's a good idea. You know, you don't want to put yourself at risk. And they were telling me to end the pregnancy. But thank God I, you know, hung in there and carried on to the end. But just thinking about all of those people, all my sisters that have to make that decision that don't even have a choice. Like it's either you, you, if you carry this baby, you're going to die or you're going to, you know, so it's hard I mean, it's easy for someone to make a choice about somebody else's body, but if it's that person and if you're going through that and you experience it and you know somebody 
if you have a mother or a sister who has a pregnancy that they can't carry, but they have to carry it even though, you know, their body won't allow them. But, and even when, you know, the people, people were telling me, no, they were like operating in fear telling me, don't, don't keep the baby. You're going to die. You're going to get sick. Are you going to do this? Or your heart's not going to do, take it, you know? And I just was like, I just couldn't do it. And so I just, I just knew I had faith that I could make it through and I made it through. And the doctors, like I said, the doctor said that I would be able to, I should be able to carry. So I did carry the whole pregnancy and um, yeah. That's pretty much it, but I just um, I just want to you know address that for my heart sisters that can't conceive or were told they can't conceive because me, you know, growing up I was told that I could even have kids, you know, and I like believe that in my mind and as I grew up as a teenager I just told myself you know what. I'm just going to adopt me a baby. And I had already had the name planned out and everything, you know. And, and so, but that didn't happen. But yeah, I had already planned out like, you know, I'm just going to adopt me this 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 child, this type of child, this child. And I had already planned to have one kid, one child, one little girl. And that's it, my adopted baby. And so that that's what I had programmed in my mind that I would adopt a kid. I would never have thought that I would have been able to conceive because what I was told, but thank God once again, hallelujah. But to all my sisters, I just want to encourage you, you know, if you still feel like you can, you know, keep pushing and keep, you know, talking with your doctors to find out if it's, possible and if not you still can adopt if you want to but if not you know I say just be grateful and be thankful because again having kids is a big responsibility and you know if you have um, a disease or illness sometimes you're not able sometimes you might not feel good and so you have to think about it too because they still want to do, kids still want to play, kids still want to go and do things, and you might be having times where you don't feel good, and so, so whatever your situation, I just want to encourage you to be thankful if you can't have kids, or they say you can't after they go through all of the options, then, you know, try to, you know, come, become in, at peace with it, and if they do say, or if you can adopt, that'll be great. Hey, be grateful because kids are a big responsibility, you know, but that's all I have. And I just hope that I said something that I was a rambling a little bit, but I hope I said something that was encouraging for my heart sisters. And, um, and I hope my story helped you out, even though it's a whole lot more to that story. And I'll talk a little bit more about it later. But because of the time, I just briefly said it. But yeah, I hope I was encouraging. I hope I said something that can help you guys. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out and I can talk a little bit more about it to you one on one. But you guys, sisters and brothers, continue to stay strong. I'm praying for you guys. And, um, once again, I'm Stephanie, and until next time, bye-bye.